Okay, so example number one. Line AB was measured four times with recorded values. 106.87, 106.90, 106.93, and 106.85. And you are asked to solve the most probable value of line AB. So meaning to say there is a line AB, okay, so let's say A and this is point B and this line is measured four times. No? So trial 1, you have 106.87, trial 2, 106.90, trial 3, 106.93, and trial 4, 106.85. And you are asked to, uh, to solve what is the most probable value of this line. Okay, so among these four trials, among these four measurements, what is the, the value that is closer or closest to the true value? Okay, so uh, if you identify, if you recall our three types or three cases of in solving the most probable value, we can say that this is under the repeated measurements, okay? repeated measurements it's because it's only one quantity one required quantity but it's measured repeatedly okay so to solve that we have uh, four solutions okay so from the formula m p v is equal to the summation the summation of measurements divided by the number of measurements. So if you look at this formula, this is basically the average of all the measurements. Okay, so what are the uh, measurements? So of course you have measurement 1, 2, 3, and 4. So just sum it up. 106.87 plus 106.90 plus 106.93 and 106.85 okay so in this case n n is the number of trials so how many how many trials so we have one two three four so okay divided by 104 i mean four rather so you will get this value okay so using your calculator or you can get this value okay so 106.87 plus 106.90 plus 106.93 plus 106.85 and then you get you have 106 point eight eighty nine meters okay so why up to two decimal places okay so because the given are the given are into nearest thousand so you have to uh, also round off your answer up to the two decimal places okay unless it is stated so if the question is uh, stated what is the most probable value of line a b to the nearest tenths of a meter then you have to round this off and up to one decimal place okay so this is the most probable value of line a b okay so among the measurements this is this value is the closest value to the true value okay so as what we have um, discussed previously that the true value cannot be determined however the value i mean the true value or the exact okay the exact value cannot be determined uh is never been known however we can solve always we can always determine the the value that is closest to that true value and that is what we call as the most probable value okay so this is for the answer for Example number one.